Corala Ficklin at CoralaFicklin.com. And we're back with the long, no, with the Y, because the Y doesn't just have the long sound. Now we've done the A, the E, the I, the O, and the U. Now we're going to do what is considered a half vowel or half consonant because Y is also a consonant. I think it's very interesting how they call the Y in Spanish, Y, which means the Greek I. And it's a, a, it's a letter that imitates other sounds, except when it's a consonant. When it's a consonant, it has its own sound, ya, 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 you, yes, yay, your, yeah. And usually it's only a consonant when it's in the beginning of a word, when it's the first letter of a word, it's a consonant, but not always, because in English, nothing is always. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to look at the long I, but this time we're going to look at it. This time we're going to look at it when it's imitating the long I sound. You see the phonetic um, spelling I, and you see that AI, that's a very confusing diphthong. It's not only a phonetic spelling, it's also a diphthong. And it has two pronunciations. One pronunciation is the I, as you see here, but another pronunciation is the A. So when I see something spelled with an AI, because AI is also a diphthong, a diphthong is like E, 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 A. I really don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know whether it's being pronounced in the word like an I, or if it being pronounced like an A. This is just one, and I'm a native speaker. So this is just one more proof that English is a language you must hear. You cannot learn it in isolation because your pronunciation will be way off because you will have nothing to hold on to because English is a language you can't pronounce the way you, what you see, but sometimes you can, many times you can't. And many of the most common words you can't. So let's look at it. So how do you pronounce the crazy Y? Question, exclamation mark. So now we're talking about the Y when it's pronounced like the I, the long I sound. Lying. Now, you know, English, in English, you hear this spelled, this, you hear this pronounced two different ways. It's a very subtle difference, very nuanced difference. Some people say lying and they don't pronounce the Y at all. Other ones say lying and the Y is pronounced like the Y, like it's a consonant, like a consonant. So it's lying or lying. I really don't have any suggestion, but I would think it would be just the I sound lying. July, mycology. Okay, I'm not going to do the uh, prefixes or suffixes. These are affixes. This is hypo because they have a particular meaning, but you can see them. Gynecology, that's a woman's doctor. Frying, but I've heard it pronounced frying, but frying. Type, that's a type. Um, no one use typewriters anymore, but the keyboard is based on the typewriter. Kayak, trist. To have a trice is to have a sexual encounter, voluntary, of course. Myopia, myopia, 
when you have myopia, you're the kind of person that only sees, you can see me, uh, that only sees, and you can see I have two hands up, um, not covering my eyes, but covering it's covering the side of my eyes so I don't have any type of perspective. I have a very myopic view of life. I have myopia. I see things through a very narrow prism. Uh, prefix myo. Try, tie, tire, tire, excuse me, tire. The reason I had a little bit of a problem here, this is not American English, this is British English. Um, T-Y-R-E, American English is T-I-R-E, tire. And their R-E's in British English is pronounced like the E-R in American English. You will still see in older versions of American English, the R-E. Um, you will see, for example, I'm used to spelling theater with an R-E, not with the E-R. I've never spelled tired this way, though. T-I-R. Oh, yes, I did. Because here it's not a, it's not a, it's not a suffix. Rely, to rely on someone. Ryan, name of a person. I think it's Irish, but not sure. Cry. There was a, there's one of my favorite songs. It was sung by Ray Charles. I'm not sure if the Justin Tim Timberland um, version is the same as the Ray Charles version, because I never really heard it. But the J Ray Charles is Cry Me a River. That's an idiomatic expression if there ever was one, because you don't mean for somebody to cry your river. But because I've cried one for you, mm, you'll have me here singing a song, and I'm not a good singer. I, that's an old way of saying yes. You still hear it maybe in parts of the United Kingdom. Also, when someone is voting, they said the eyes have it. I know. So if you're going to vote, you vote with I or you vote no. And if they say the eyes have it, that means whatever it was was passed or you hear it in the Congress and you hear it in the Senate. Spry. To still be flexible and young, even though you're now old. You'll say, whoa, he's really spry. He's still very spry. He's still flexible. He still can move around. Time. It's a type of a spice. Once again, that's a prefix, stylo. Prefix, hydro. Hydro. Uh, no, I can't. No, hydro. Guy. But this has two meanings because of the French influence. If it's capitalized, if the G is capitalized, the, the person's name is either Guy or Guy. Fly, one of those beautiful songs. Person maybe was not the best human being. We don't know. Well, some people know, because they were there or not there one of the most beautiful songs, I Believe I Can Fly. I believe I can fly. See, I can't sing. My, my house, possessive adjective, possessive adjective. My house, your house, his house, her house, their house, our house. Dynasty, I've always wanted a dynasty where one generation supports the, the coming, the upcoming generation, which supports the, the future generations. So the money is, instead of being wasted buying jewelry and fancy cars, the money is passed down from generation to generation. So each generation that comes in, that comes in, they don't have to worry about the all the hard parts of life, at least financially, you know, that that's all you can really materially, that's all you can um, assure. 
cyberspace by uh como phone three different words three different spellings but same pronunciation b y b y e and b u y by by here is the preposition i came to work by car i came to work by bus also b y e to say bye 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 right and also um b u y which is um, to go to the store and purchase something. There it is, B-U-Y, to purchase. There it is, bye-bye, same pronunciation. Dry land, dry land. You don't say land, dry land. Once again, glyco, it's a suffix, ah, prefix, excuse me. Cyclone. Notice the C before the Y has a different pronunciation after the Y. I love things like this. Because it's too, it's really small and it's nuanced, but I love things like this. The C before the Y takes on the soft sound. The C after the Y and is followed by a consonant takes on the hard sign, um, hard sound. So even though it, in appearance, that C before and that C after should have the same pronunciations, they don't. Because a lot of times if the C it's followed by what they say in Spanish. In English, I've never heard it being called soft vowel, but it could be a soft vowel. The E, the I, and the Y, it's but not all the time. Not all the time. When well, Spanish is a, an ironclad rule, in English it's not. You can find C, Y, and the C is and the C after, uh, the C before the consonant. That's a very general rule, but I just want you to understand there's no, except for very few things, there's no hard and fast rule. One hard and fast rule in English is the following. The personal pronoun, subject personal pronoun, I is always capitalized. There is absolutely at no time an exception. That's one of the few things that hard and fast. Psycho. Plier. Hygiene. Prying to pry, to interfere, to be a busybody. Don't pry into my, into my life. Don't pry into my business. You are always prying into my business. Rhyme. And when something happens and you have no explanation, you say neither rhyme or reason. In other words, I don't know. There was a building that collapsed, I think about a week, no, five days ago, five, six days ago, because the time is important, five or six days ago. And no, no uh, rain, no cyclone, no typhoon, nothing. It's just one night, very early in the morning, it collapsed. And then they'll say, without rhyme or reason, well, they haven't done the investigation, but as of now, people say without rhyme or reason. Little by little, they're finding out that hmm, there are reasons. Dynamite. When something is, you know, dynamite blows up, but dynamite can also mean something that's explosive. Way back in the day, I'm talking about the 70s, there was this comedian, he would say, dynamite, that's dynamite. No. I don't think most people even remember that. Cyprus, country. Hydro, 
Okay, and that's it. So that's the long I sound, but instead of using the I, we have used the um, Y, the Y. So once again, Corala Ficklin at Corala Ficklin dot, no, at welcome.com, not Corala Ficklin dot com at welcome.com and visit my um, webpage, my um, YouTube. You can look me up, Corala Ficklin, uh, and, and just put my name in the YouTube um, search engine. And um, I have two YouTube um, channels. And I really would appreciate if you would subscribe, if you feel so uh, inclined, I, long I, but with an eye, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to thank you very much for coming to the video and I wish you a good day. Thank you.